happy by resonance chemistry today i'm going to discuss it about units of rate constant okay so how to find the units of rate constant now i'll give the very simple trick so the you with the help of that trick you can find the any order rate constant units within 30 seconds okay so that is very familiar trick that is very very easier trick so but according to me without content or without concept tricks are not valid tricks are not valid that is a, that seems to be it is a blinded trick so that's why i'll explain the content or concept within 3 to 4 minutes then after i'll give the trick so after the after the learning of concept uh, tricks are very valid okay so that is my rule okay so then i'll go through the first of all uh, concept uh, finally i'll give the very simple trick uh, within 5 to 6 minutes so the total content is within 5 to 6 minutes then after we solve some of the previous year problems okay now let's move on to the uh, concept simply how to find the rate constant first of all what is the rate constant we don't know so if any reaction is there uh, this is the reactant which can converts into product so the reactant and the product it 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 takes a lot of time okay so now the uh, now find the rate of reaction with the help of concentration of reactant so this is the like a chemical kinetics formula rate is directly proportional to the concentration of reactant concentration of reactant with the help of the same thing now rate is directly proportional to the reactant then directly proportionality is converted into is equal to we keep this some constant that constant is called as a rate constant okay that is the rate constant then k is equal to rate by reactant rate by reactant we don't know the what is the units of rate and uh, uh, reactant concentration like a uh, uh, concentration of reactant we don't know okay let's move on to the units of uh, rate simply rate is nothing but change in the concentration per unit of time change in the concentration per unit of time so that is particular time simply here it is the like a concentration of reactant and versus time the plot uh, plotted between the concentration versus time now reactants are uh, consumed products are produced so the change in the concentration from here to here in a particular uh, interval of time in a particular interval of time that is nothing but rate okay so simply rate is equal to concentration power 1 into concentration power 1 upon time simply it is written as concentration power 1 into second units times units are seconds okay so simply here it is the seconds so denominator will goes to the numerator then rate is equal to concentration power 1 into second inverse so this is the r units rate units now let's move on to the reactant units concentration of reactant concentration of reactant it is very easier okay we know the uh, like uh, if a uh, reactant uh, dissolved into the any like any kind of uh, alkali solution or basic solution so that having the certain molarity or certain normality so the molarity or normality in terms of concentration it is a number of moles per volume so the moles per liter moles per liter simply the concentration is equal to uh, like a mole into liter so concentration of reactant is equal to mole into liter power minus 1 denominator goes to the numerator then sign will be changed okay power sign will be changed this is the concentration concentration units now let's substitute those values into the our rate constant so the k is equal to uh, like a rate by concentration of reactant so the rate units is equal to concentration power 1 into second inverse so we we didn't uh, substitute the total value at the same time just substitute the concentration okay so rate constant we don't know whether it is a zero third or first third or second third that's why let's take the nth concentration power n simply it is the nth order reaction simply it is nothing but nth order reaction so kn is equal so whenever the concentration power the same similar terms are there similar terms are taken into the same uh, like the same either numerator or denominator concentration power n will goes to the numerator then sign will be changed n becomes plus n becomes minus n here it is the power 1 again second inverse as usual second inverse as usual if bases are equal then powers are added then powers are added simply concentration into concentration both bases are equal 1 plus of minus n simply it is nothing but k n is equal to concentration power 1 minus n into second inverse now i'll rewrite the same equation over here k is equal to concentration power 1 into min 1 minus n into second inverse this is the very simple trick for finding the units of rate constant units of rate constant we know that concentration uh, concentration units that is mole into liter power minus 1 into 
1 minus n into second inverse. Just we can uh, uh, separate it out the all the terms. So mole power 1 minus n into liter power minus 1 upon 1 minus n into second inverse. Okay. Simply here mole power 1 minus n into liter power. Simply here if the a power m into n is there, simply it is nothing but a power m into n. So similarly minus 1 into 1 minus n. So here it is minus 1 into minus 1 minus 1 minus into minus plus. So here it was really written as n minus 1. So simply it is written as n minus 1 into second inverse. So this is the nth order unit constant. Nth order unit of nth order rate constant units. Okay. Simply liter is equal to another terms they are given in the dm. So 1 liter is equal to 1 dm cube. So that's why we can substitute the those liters in terms of dm. So then kn is equal to mole power 1 minus n into like a dm cube power n minus 1 into second inverse. This is the simple thing. This is the simple thing. Okay. These are the represented formulas for finding the units of rate constant. For finding the units of rate constant. This is the content. Okay. If you know the content, then we will go for the like a simple trick. Now let's move on to the simple trick. How to find the units of rate constant. Okay, now, so with the help of these, these formulas, we can easily find the units of rate constant. Now, the trick. So, here it is the k is equal to concentration power 1 minus n into second inverse. Okay, if n is equal to 0, that is 0th order reaction. So, then k 0 is equal to concentration power 1 or directly we use it the same similar terms. Okay, so this is the simplest trick. Now, we will go through the uh, this one. It is also help, very helpful. Mole power. 1 minus n is equal to 0, 1 minus 0 into liter power 0 minus 1 into second inverse. So finally, k0 is equal to, now I will write the uh, each and every rate constant over here, k0 is equal to mole power 1 into liter power minus 1 into second inverse. So this is the 0 third constant, 0 third rate constant, rate uh, like units. Now here it is k0 is equal to mole power 1 into liter power minus 1 into second inverse. Now, if n is equal to 1, n is equal to 1, then it is the first order, first order rate constant. Now k1 is equal to mole, simply it is concentration power 1 minus 1, n is equal to 1, then second inverse. Okay, so concentration power 1 minus 1 into concentration power 0, second inverse. We know that anything power 0 is equal to 1, so 1 into second inverse. So the units of uh, first order constant is equal to just only second inverse, just only second inverse. This is the k1 k1 is equal to second inverse. Very simple trick. The units of first order rate constant is equal to second inverse. Second inverse. Now just to substitute the n is equal to 2. That is the second order. k2 is equal to n is equal to 2. That is second order. k2 is equal to concentration power 1 minus 2 into second inverse. Okay. Now we know that concentration power 1 minus 2 is nothing but minus 1 into second inverse. Here mole into liter power minus 1 into minus 1 into second inverse. If you know the uh, like a simple uh, calculations, mole power 1 into minus 1, minus 1, mole power minus 1, minus 1 into minus 1, plus 1, so liter power 1, second inverse, second inverse. This is the second order constant. Like similarly, if third order n is equal to 3, we will get the k3 is equal to mole power minus 2 into liter, liter square into second inverse. Okay, second is cannot change in any of the reaction. If n is equal to 4, so k4 is equal to mole power minus 3 into liter cube into second inverse. Okay, so this is the previous year CSIR question 2018 CSIR 2 marker question. Okay, so they are given in the units, then find the order of the reaction. Okay, so they are given in the cubes. Uh, order is nothing but a plus one. Okay, so if they are given in the cubes, uh, order is the plus one. Given in the squares, order is the plus one, that is the third order. Okay, if they are given in the general one, that is the second order. If they are given in the only second inverse, that is the first order. So if they, they are given in the mole power 1 into liter inverse, okay, here the liters are inverse, here the liters are positive signs, okay. So the liter having the negative charge, that is the zero order. Liters having the positive charge, liters having the positive charge, that is the more than second, okay, second or more than second. So second order or third order or fourth order. Based on the like powers, it was. Uh, it was predicted whether it is a second order reaction or third order reaction or final, uh, 
any like nth order reaction based on that. So this is the simplest trick for finding the like units of rate constant, units of rate constant. Okay, so it is very useful content for the AP set as well as the CSR net and K8. They are given in the units, then find the what is the order of the reaction. Okay, something uh, in general reactions they are mentioned the rate constant of a reaction. It ha rate constant of a reaction K is equal to 1.30 into 10 to the power minus 4 second inverse. Then find the data rate. Uh, then find the order of the reaction. We don't know whether it is first order or second order. So, but they are given in the units. What is the units? Second inverse. They are given in the units. Second inverse. Second inverse is equal to the first order reaction. So, uh, simply it is the first order reaction. Okay, just uh, when you observe the units, when you observe the units, then you can easily find the which type of reaction, which which order is the reaction is which order. Okay, now they are given in the reaction. So K is equal to 1.30 into 10 to the power minus 4 into simply mole into liter power minus 1 into second inverse. Then find the what is the uh, like order of the reaction. So absolutely it is uh, related to the first uh, zero order reaction. Okay, with the help of units, we can find the any type of order of the reaction. Now, just solve the sum of the previous year AP set questions. So, that is very helpful for the present AP set students. Okay, now let's move on to the sum of the AP set questions. I think it is very easier. Now let us solve the some of the previous year AP set problems. Okay, so this was the previous year AP set problem which is given in 2018, 2017, 2016. Okay, uh, like uh, since past year it was given in the three times, but 2019 is also given, but it is quite a uh, quite it is a different content. That's why I am not able to insert the, those question into the our units of rate constant content. Okay, now let's move on to the first problem that is 2018 AP set problem. The rate constant for the reaction A plus 2B gives rise to 2B. So this is the reactant. A plus 2B gives rise to the product. So this is the reaction. Okay. So then they are given in the rate constant value. K is equal to 3 into 10 to the power minus 4 into minute inverse. Then find the order of the reaction. Okay. So it is very, 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 very easier problem. Okay. So when you know the concept of units of rate constant, directly you will choose the answer. Okay. So but many of the students without knowing the content, so they are going for the, so here three reactants are there. Here first one and second one has the two, th uh, two reactants. Then uh, rate is inversely, rate is directly proportional to the concentration of reactant. So that's why, so here it is the rate. Then powers of this, uh, according to the order of the reaction definition so according to the sum of the powers of the concentration of the reactants is the order then 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 it is the third order reaction some of the like over intellectual uh, candidates they choose the third one so they are um, they doesn't know the concept of uh, units so they are directly choose the option third order reaction so that's why it is wrong okay so don't go for like that so just you go for the units minute inverse that indicates first order reaction so we know that cancer like a uh, units of rate constant so the minute inverse or second inverse what are hour inverse or days they are given in the units in time so that is equal to the first order only okay first order can only equal to the like a uh, time inverse time inverse uh, either in the form of a minute inverse or a second inverse so time inverse is indicates for the first order reaction first order reaction that's enough so this is the first one now let's move on to the second one we know that uh, the concept of a unit constant so we are already finding those values just yes, i'll go through the simple one so time inverse indicates first order reaction so q is equal to one we know that again so powers power two is there then uh, that order is equal to the three so then four is equal to the third order s is equal to four s is four q is one but we are confused with whether it is a uh, like a uh, liter mole power minus one and time inverse as well as a uh, mole into liter power minus one and time inverse whether it is a second order reaction or first order zero third order reaction we don't know so just uh, so if liter having the positive sign liter having the positive sign then n is equal to two or greater than two two or greater than two that's why so if liter has the po positive sign n is equal to two or greater than two so uh, if greater than 2 is there, then powers are powers are more. So that's why if only liters have the positive with only 1, then order is equal to 2. So liter positive second order, R is equal to 2. 
r is equal to 2. So then uh, the remaining one, 3 is equal to 0, order. p is equal to 3. So 3, 1, 2, 4 is the correct one. So p, q, r as 3, 1, 2, 4. So 3, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 rank, 3, 2, 1, 4 rank, 2, 1, 3, 4 rank, 3, 1, 2, 4 is correct answer. Okay, so if you know the simple content, uh, so first order is the time inverse, uh, then first order q is equal to 1, so if q is equal to 1, then third order has the squares, uh, it is 4. If you know the simple thing, 1 and 4, it has the two options, but your competition is there, whether it is 0 third order or second order, so then you know the complete concept, the complete content of the those units of uh, rate constant orders, so then you will, you will choose the correct option in like uh, less than 30 seconds okay so that is very pretty easy problems in uh, ap set chemi chemistry exam okay they are given in the physical chemistry very easy problems in 2016 so they are given the direct one okay we know that uh, unit constant concentration power 1 minus n into second inverse we know the concentration that is mole into liter power minus 1 into 1 minus 1 into second inverse okay so 1 liter is equal to so 1 liter is equal to dm cube dm cube so mole into like a, so before substitute the those liter values so you can uh, find the those uh, separate out the those values liter power n minus 1 into second inverse this is the separation okay which are uh, already done in the starting of the video so mole power 1 minus 1 in 1 minus n into liter in instead of liters it was uh, taken as a dm cube into n minus 1 into second inverse so this is the units this is the nth order rate units so according to the 2016 question, the units for the rate constant of the nth order reaction, they are directly asking the formula, okay. So we know that the mole power 1 minus n into dm cube power n minus 1 into second inverse. So what is the correct answer? So they are given in the options C and D. Let's look out option C and D. So seconds are not in the form of inverse. So seconds are directly proportional. So that's why these two are wrong. So then here second inverse are there A and B, but dm cube n minus 1 is the correct one. So that's why I'll go through the option A. So this is a pretty easy problem regarding to the physical chemistry, but uh, many of the non-mass students, they are struggled with uh, to solve the problems in physical chemistry that is very difficult. They are felt that uh, physical chemistry problems are very difficult, but you know the concept. Uh, physical physical chemistry problems are very pretty easier than that of the organic and inorganic, if you know the concept. So these kind of uh, very simple problems are given in the AP set. Uh, don't bother about uh, I'm I'm a non-mass student. I'm struggle with the physical chemistry. That kind of uh, that kind of uh, environment is not good for the uh, any any kind of a preparation. Okay. So if you are uh, non-mass students, doesn't matter. You'll go through the content. Then you will uh, easily solve any type of problems in a PSAT exam. I think it is very helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for watching.